Have you ever wondered where the term cut sleeves came from? Well, this term dates to the last year of BCE when Emperor Ai of Han enjoyed a daytime nap with his male concubine who was reportedly peacefully lying in his arms. To avoid waking up the other, he decided to cut his sleeves so he can move away without disturbing the sleeping man. Since then, this gesture had made a statement and is mainly associated with the adoration of two males towards each other. Emperor Ai's non-conventional relationship had caused an uproar in the entire kingdom, but the emperor did not heed anyone's opinion. Instead, he brought his male concubine wherever he is, built a special tomb for him, and showered his male concubine with lavish gifts. But wait, there's more, because by the time he died, Emperor Ai even boldly offered the whole kingdom for his favorite male concubine to take. What other intriguing secrets was the young emperor up to? Welcome to Crazy Histories, where we bring you the craziest and weirdest facts from human history. Some of the things discussed in this video may be offensive or disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Who is Emperor Ai of Han? Before he became the infamous origin of the popular term Passion of the Cut Sleeve, or just Cut Sleeve for short, Emperor Ai of Han once ruled a dynasty. Born as Liu Xin in 27 BCE, Xin is set to rule the empire left by his uncle. Then Emperor Chang is very fond of Xin from the get-go. He was so obsessed with the young crown prince that he ordered that Xin should be put under the care of his grandmother. Because of this, the young prince was not raised by his parents. Chang was very determined to engrave in Xin's young mind that all he have is his uncle and no one else. Even his biological parents were deliberately removed from Xin's life. Emperor Chang then ordered the banning of Consort Fu and Consort Ding, Xin's mother, from the capital and successfully cut all the ties between the parent and the child. When Emperor Chang died, Xin inherited the crown and upon him bestowed the title of Emperor Ai of Han. When he took over the throne, Xin did his best to rule the kingdom. Despite being only 20 years old when he sat down as emperor, Xin had great plans and was able to implement most of them for the betterment of his people. Unlike his uncle, Xin decided to become a hands-on ruler, cut off government expenses to favor his people, and prioritize the restriction of slavery by limiting the number of allowed slaves a member of the noble class can take. While his reign started on a good note, it was soon bombarded with controversy when his dysfunctional family entered the picture. Despite his rise in power, there are still people from the Cheng family who didn't like how someone outside the direct descendants of the previous emperor was given the title. At the same time, the family he was born from is expressing their displeasure for the lack of recognition and title. To address this issue, his step-grandmother Grand Empress Dowager Wang decided it was for the betterment of everyone that Xin's biological relatives be given titles of their own as a sign of inclusion and recognition. This diversion did help, but was not suitable especially after it created a rivalry between the Fu clan and the Wang clan. Who is Dong Xian? Amidst this chaos, a young man named Dong Xian entered the life of Emperor Ai. Many agreed that his appearance tipped the balance even more. Surprisingly, Emperor Ai was not the first leader from ancient China who kept a male concubine by their side, but Emperor Ai left a mark in history by being the first to openly flaunt having one. Everything began around 4 BCE. By then, Dong Xian was only an ordinary court official. Only 19 years old and married to a woman, people started noticing the unusual amount of promotions Emperor Ai was giving Dong Xian. It was as if the emperor was not scared of showing how he favored the latter. This caused a lot of discussion within the court and other officials started to express their displeasure about the rapid rise of Dong Xian, even faster than older officials who worked years for the emperor. But whenever a person tried to question the rise in the ranks of Dong Xian, they are severely punished until no one dared to question the emperor's decisions. Soon after, Dong Xian and his wife were allowed to move into the imperial palace. But wait, there's more. Emperor Ai also ordered the construction of a very lavish residence for them to stay in. This only shows how much Emperor Ai was willing to give and once again, this caused a lot of talks among the people of the kingdom. Was homosexuality normal in ancient China? Despite how his people reacted, it should be noted that during those times, it was generally okay for emperors to keep a male concubine. Historian Brett Hinch revealed through his book Passions of the Cut Sleeve, the male homosexual tradition in China, 
that 10 of the emperors who previously ruled the Han Dynasty were openly bisexuals. He then quotes the Shiji, those who served the ruler and succeeded in delighting his ears and eyes, those who caught their lord's fancy and won his favor and intimacy, did so not only through the power of lust and love. Each had certain abilities in which he excelled. The most interesting is the statement that followed. It is not women alone who can use their looks to attract the eyes of the ruler. Courtiers and eunuchs can play that game as well. Many were the men of ancient times who gained favor this way. So Dong Xian and Emperor Ai's relationship is nothing out of the ordinary. However, the favor and luxury Emperor Ai showered Dong Xian indeed make a statement throughout the dynasty. From the most expensive jewelry to the rarest weapons, Emperor Ai gave everything to his male concubine. When this news reached Wu Zhanglong, chief security of the capital city, he tried to prevent the entry of the weapons. However, he suffered the same faith as the people who blocked the emperor's love for Dong Xian. As a result, he was denoted and sent to a remote area to work. If you think the emperor had expressed his adoration to Dong Xian on a massive level, wait until you hear how he ordered that a tomb for Dong be constructed next to his own. Too much? Wait until you hear how Emperor Ai successfully denoted countless officials who were serving him in favor of his male concubine. I've mentioned before how people who try to go against the Emperor's favors were taken out of the picture. However, this response is not only to silence them. Most important, it was another way for the Emperor to carve a path for his favored concubine. When a eunuch named Shan Hong reported that a certain prince was allegedly using witchcraft, said the prince was immediately removed from his position. As a result, the prince took his own life. While this incident was nothing but tragic, the emperor used it in his favor to justify the promotion of Dong Xian, who took the credit for reporting the crime. The following year, Prime Minister Wang Jia was imprisoned for false charges, as he wrote a very detailed letter expressing his concerns about the relationship between the emperor and Dong, and what would possibly happen if Emperor Ai die ahead of his male concubine. Everyone in the government who expressed grief over his passing was fired from their positions. Even the emperor's uncle, Ding Ming, who oversaw all of the empire's armed forces, was not spared. Of course, the vacancy needs to be filled and who among the experienced officials is deemed worthy? The emperor said Wing Se, who later died from an unknown illness only one year in office. Dong Xian then replaced Wing Se and he acted as commander-in-chief of the empire's military. As if this promotion was not big enough, the emperor then issued an edict where he proclaimed his undying trust in Dong. In the edict, he said, Heaven gave you to be the helper for the Han Dynasty. I know your faithfulness, and I hope that you can guide the great affairs of the empire and follow what is good. As expected, this created clamor from the people. It was scary to hear and see the emperor proclaim such loyalty to his concubine above anyone else, but Dong remained beside the emperor's side. Despite how people tried to remove him from Ai's life, he stuck with him through thick and thin. The Origin of the Cut Sleeves Around this time, the infamous story happened. The legend says that on a straw mat, Emperor Ai and Dong Xian dozed off together. In the story, it was said that the head of Dong Xian was on the emperor's sleeve, so when Ai decided to move away after resting, he cut off his sleeve and laid it beneath Dong Xian's head, allowing him to continue sleeping. If you disregard the complete chaos that their romance was producing in Emperor Ai's administration, it is a genuinely sweet story. However, their love story soon came to an end. A year after, Emperor Ai's chronic illness caught up with him and he dies. On his deathbed, he didn't forget the love of his life and made one of the biggest decisions of his life. He proclaimed that Dong Xian shall be his sole heir, which means the kingdom shall be passed on to him. Most people ignored the decree, believing that it was ridiculous and does not bear any weight. The Grand Empress Dowager Wang thinks otherwise. She knows that the former Emperor Ai was serious about bestowing the entire dynasty to Dong. To prevent Dong Xian from taking the throne, she immediately grabbed the imperial seal to prevent Dong Xian from taking over. Then she reinstated her relative Wang Mang and transferred command of the military to him. After that, Wang Mang used his power to frame up Dong and accused him of failing to attend to Ai's needs, which ultimately led to his passing. Soon after, he was banned from the palace and stripped of his titles. Because of this, Dong and his wife took their own life. Dong never ended up in the fancy tomb Emperor Ai built for him, 
Instead, Wang Mang had him buried in prison, with the entire Dong family banished and disinherited of all their assets. A lot of people have different opinions about the relationship between Emperor Ai and Dong Xian, but one thing is for sure, their story left a mark on history, so deep that whenever you see a sleeve being cut, you will remember them and the relationship they shared. We hope you liked the video and hit the like and subscribe button. Make sure you turn on the post notification and also let us know in the comment section about your view of this bizarre love story. Thanks for watching and we will see you the next time.